Business and networking venture for veterans broke ground today at the corner of South Powers Boulevard and Bradley Road, not far from the Colorado Springs Airport. KRDO News Channel 13 Cindy Centafonte was there today to learn more about the opportunities this campus will provide to the veteran community. Heather Bart, it may not look like much right now, but give it a couple years, and this is going to be the future site of Veterans Victory. It's a $69 million initiative to help provide a brighter future for our veterans, not only giving them housing opportunities, but also business advancement degrees. Founders of Veterans Victory breaking ground Thursday on a campus they say will be a game changer for the veterans community. When completed, the 15-acre site will feature 240 ADA-accessible green multifamily apartments and 15 business offices. We want to help the veteran start his or her own business, especially land those excellent contracts that are available for military and construction, even space technology. This is certainly the city where we could do that type of work. Kim Cooley, the CEO of Veterans Victory, says the idea is to provide on-site financial education and small business training, as well as collaborative networking opportunities to get veteran entrepreneurs up and running towards a successful career path. Mount Carmel Veterans Service Center is a partner as well and will offer expertise to veterans in transitioning into new civilian careers. As Cooley explains, her passion comes from her own experiences dealing with retired veterans. Well, it goes back to my understanding of post-traumatic stress disorder. Many face challenges with their mental well-being and aren't always sure where to look for resources. They can even run into trouble accessing benefits from the Department of Veteran Affairs. The nearly $70 million holistic campus for veteran entrepreneurs was made possible by the Opportunity Zones program that was created under former President Donald Trump in 2017. But there's also been support from investors with ties to the veteran community, like Chuck Lesnick. He says he was inspired by his father-in-law, a World War II veteran. The greatest generation, they didn't talk a lot about the adversity. Um, I think we've become uh, more used to talking about it now. Um, but there were, there were obstacles, but the country was more committed to helping those vets get relocated because there were so many coming home from World War II. And in, in recent years, we haven't had that support, so this is going a long way to help. And it's not just business support. The site addresses holistic needs as well, with access to physical therapy, mental health services, yoga, hiking trails, and social events. Now, Veterans Victory is not expected to be complete until December of 2023. But for any future interested veteran applicants or for just more information, you can always head on over to our website where I'll have more details for you at KRDO.com. For now, I'm live in Colorado Springs. Cindy Santafonte for KRDO News Channel 13.